What is going on guys? Welcome to the match reaction. That was Man United 2 Galatasaray 3. Um, oh my god, like it's been my first match reaction since having a baby. Um, if some of you don't know, I've just had a baby. And it's been stressful. I've been trying to watch games and Man United make it very, very difficult. Um, and that was the same again. We started well. We started very well. Rasmus Hoyland getting that goal. Um, really good ball in from Rashford. It was a bit, a bit of a rocket sent in, but you know people are saying he's being too selfish, and I think Rashford was playing very well today. Um, he was trying to put balls in for everyone. Came very close to sending one into Bruno. Bruno just didn't didn't get it right. Um, didn't get to it, and then there was another chance where Bruno just couldn't connect well with it. I think that was from Rashford too. It's just. We we really have every opportunity to score goals and we just cannot do it. Um, but Rasmus Hoyland, what a player! That header was unbelievable, um, an absolute bullet. He just he looks like such a good player. I'm very excited to have him. But um, it seems like when we do three good things, five bad things follow, and it's just two steps forward, one step back all the time, every fucking game day. It's excruciating to watch. Um, so obviously we score, then they score, then we score, then they score. Uh, I just don't understand why our defence is so fucking weak. It's like hot, a hot knife through butter. Like, I'm watching and I'm like, they don't even look like they're bothered to try. They don't even look like they care. Like, we do all the hard work going forward. We, we try to create. We try to do stuff. And then as soon as the ball comes back down, it's like we don't know what to do with it. And it's absolutely embarrassing. Like, our defence is embarrassing. We're such a, we're such a poor team. Um, so, yeah, of course, Wilfred Zaha was the one to score. He, he, that was written in the stars. We knew that was going to happen before the game even bleeding started. Um, and then, yeah, we, we get one back. Rasmus Hoyland scores again, but it was, it was uh, disallowed. Then he scored, which was a really good goal, by the way. Um, then he scored again. Happy, happy days. The the celebrations were amazing. And then, like within two minutes, we concede. Within two minutes, um, then it all goes downhill from here. And this is when Marcus Rashford comes off. But like a lot of people are saying, bench Rashford, bench him. He's not doing enough. And then today, I think he was doing very well. And then he gets benched. And then it all goes to shit. Like I saw Rashford today. Be, not being selfish, he has been selfish. We all we all can see it. But today he wasn't. He was so selfless and just trying to give the ball in in every position, and he was doing very well. And then he comes off, and it goes to shit. Uh, Onana, I'm sorry. I like. I'm trying to give him the time. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. But to be honest, today, like I literally I cannot see much good about Onana, and it's so annoying because I want him to be good but all I can think of is David De Gea is at home watching Man United play and he's watching like this is this is a disgrace like David De Gea he might not have been good at some things and look I I was very much given out about De Gea a lot but you have to admit we miss him Onan has not been good. He's not shown. He's not shown much. He's made so many mistakes. He made mistakes in the Bayern game, and now he made mistakes today. He made a mistake that led to Casemiro having to get a red card. He had to make that tackle. He gets sent off. He gets a second yellow, and um, Icardi misses the penalty. So we get a lifeline. We get a lifeline. But I, I just, I just don't see it now with Onana, and I hate it because I don't want to go against players and say oh he's not good enough but really like being honest I'm watching him and I just can't see it I can't for the life of me understand what he brings to this team because when I'm watching it's not at the start you could see a few passes in a few games but I think his confidence has been shot and he's just now it's probably him coming to United it's probably what we we do to players Everyone just becomes shit once they come to us because their confidence has just dropped so much. But like, if you look at the chances that Onana's faced, he, he doesn't make very good saves. Like he hasn't actually wowed me with saves. That's that's the problem. 
David De Gea used to be keeping us in games. He'd be the ball would be kicked at him from here, there, and everywhere, and David De Gea would somehow get his hand to it or somehow get his foot to it. Uh, I'm not seeing that from Onana. I'm not at all, and and that's the frustrating thing. Um, he cost a lot of money. We got rid of David De Gea, who won the Golden Glove in the Premier League. Um, we kept a lot of clean sheets last season, and now we've just conceded goal after goal after goal, and it's actually quite embarrassing. Our defence just does not look good. I know we have a lot of injuries, so you have to take that into consideration. But every team has injuries, and, and for us, you can't make excuses. You cannot make excuses for that. It's it's terrible. The defence is terrible. Onana is terrible. Um, going forward we're not we're not doing enough Rasmus Hoyland you see what happens you give him the ball and he'll score we're not getting the ball to him enough Bruno's not doing enough Mason Mount is not doing enough they're they're just it's just horrible to watch um so yeah we lose and um, they get they get Icardi after missing the penalty he gets he gets his goal and again it was a stupid stupid mistake the ball's headed back Icardi's running in and he has three defenders running with him and they just can't get at him and Onana comes out and it, it's just topped over him. I just don't understand. Onana just doesn't look... Do you know when you've got a force in front of you and you're kind of afraid? Players don't look like they're afraid of Onana. They're like, ah, it's grand. I'll get, I'll get it past them. No better. Um, that's the annoying thing. But look, we have a tough... We were down to 10 players hopefully 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 we can do something in the next coming games for the champions league but realistically we're probably going to drop into europa or maybe just get kicked out altogether and um, because the way the performances are going the way the matches are going not good enough at all um but look guys let me know your thoughts sorry i have been slacking with videos obviously i just had a baby so it's been tough um but i'll try to do a lot more videos soon let me know how you are let me know what you thought of the game and if you're new, hit subscribe, drop a like, and I will talk to you in the next video.